What's going on guys? It's Cal with DTOM Knives and Gear and today I have an unboxing sent to me by my buddy Kevin Lefty EDC. You guys already know, I say it all the time, that he is my brother, one of my best friends in this community and I love him dearly. Uh, this is a knife that was sent from John over to EMP EDC. This is the Thick Boy. Uh, I am really excited to check out this knife. I didn't jump on the pre-order because I had just done other pre-orders uh, for the um, the gun near and Jake's knife, the Avant. And so I was kind of strapped at the moment for a bunch of these knives, especially for pre-orders, because I've got so many going right now. I've got a house I'm fixing up to try to sell. And it's just crazy. But when Kevin said that John's like, hey, send it to Kyle. I was very, very excited, and I thank you so much, John, uh, for that. Of course, EMP EDC's Instagram and website will be down below because as of right now, at the time of this video, maybe you know, maybe when you see it, there were still some pre-orders left. So if you like the EMP EDC as far as the aesthetics, definitely go check it out. Sign up for the pre-order, um, and I might have to do the same thing once I get it out and start to play with it. So let's use the uh, EMP EDC Nimble to get into this guy and see what we got. All right, so I got something else other than the Nimble. There's the pouch for the Nimble. Hey, <laughs> I've got a Detent Diva Costa, and I really like this particular one, the uh, brown leather with the green. Got my Detent Diva shirt on, so how perfect is that? Got some Lefty Live and Lefty EDC stickers. Lefty EDC is live every Thursday. I try to go on there as much as I can. Oh, I've got a magnet too. <clears throat> and uh, then, of course, on the edge every other Saturday. What the hell is this? Mama says I'm special. I don't know where the hell he got this little patch, but this is definitely going on my EDC bag. Uh, that's awesome. All right, let's see what this thing, let's see what's in this concept pouch, because I really don't know. Now I remember, he said he was going to send, this is an Asher Knives, damn, is this the Nomad? I think, I can't remember if it's the Nomad or the Spiro. I don't remember, but this is a full titanium frame lock S35VN blade from Asher Knife Co. Justin over at Asher Knife Co. is a super cool dude. We actually had him on the edge at one point and talked to him. The guy is amazing. He's really done a great job with Asher Knife Co. Uh, and the, his whole thing is he wants knives to be under $100. He don't want to spend $100, over $100 for a knife. That's amazing. A lot of people are in that category. So what does he do? He starts a knife company and he makes premium materials, S35VN titanium, uh, and has the knife under $100. And guess what? He didn't stop at S35VN. He's actually making some now, I believe, they're in production for a ti full titanium frame locks and M390 for under $100. Deal of the century, if you ask me. So I'm really excited for those to come out. This one, God, oh, the action. I've had the Nomad, and I think this is the Nomad. I'm I'm really bad about this, obviously. If you saw my last video uh, where I was butchering the name of the L-E, fuck, I don't even remember, L-E-X-K. Don't watch that video. Okay, go watch the video. It's a great knife, and I, I, I really enjoyed the knife, but I butchered the name because the card and bleh, never mind. But anyway, really looking forward to checking this out. I know some guys at work who were the other Asher knives that I had on the channel really, really enjoyed. So excited about that. He left it lefty, the bastard. Does he want me to carry it lefty? Because if you do, I ain't. That was torture when I did it for you the last time. Book that. EMP EDC Thick Boy. This is why we're here. I am really, really excited. Guys, look at this. <laughs> so this is the Thick Boy on pre-order right now at EMP EDC's uh, website. I will have it linked down below as well as his Instagram. This one was sent to Kevin Lefty EDC. And John sent I to send it to me, and I really could not be happier. This is definitely a knife that is up my alley. <laughs> look at that blade, guys. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, now it's called the Thick Boy. Um, and it's, you know, really, I think due to the, to the wideness of the blade here, because it's not thick. A lot of people are thinking that it's very thick this way. It is not. That is very standard size, um, cleaver style blade. At least that's what I call it with a very generous finger twirl. Um, 
Sorry if you hear the kids screaming in the background. Uh, OD Green, Micarta, Titanium. Nice logo there. I love his logo. This one, I believe, is made by Best Tech. The Nimble was made by QSP. This one, I think he's he switched it up a little bit and made by Best Tech. If that's wrong, I'll correct myself in the full review, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read. Uh, and then, of course, you need to go check out Lefty EDC's video on this knife. All right, so it's a finger flicker, cold deployment, check. That's what I like. Uh, the Nimble has multiple deployment methods, which makes this thing very fidgety and very fun. But if I'm going to have one single deployment method, the whole deployment is what I want. Good God Almighty, did you see that? <laughs> well, the fall shut action on this thing is about as fall action as you can get. If you like fall shut action, here's your one right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, don't let your finger get in the way. However, I, look, see how it falls there and then just drops no double clutch, which is a huge deal for me. That makes me happy. That makes me so very happy. Now, the detent, detent feels okay. Maybe a, maybe a little bit light. I am a detent diva now, thanks to Kevin Lefty EDC. I mean... I, you know, all knives are now held to the standard of the Leon Mall field duty, which is the best detent on a knife that you can get. So that one is what I compare most knives to. And I can feel, I can feel this one being a little bit light because I can basically do this. And so that to me, that's, that's a lighter detent. I'm not saying it's so light that it doesn't work because it absolutely does. But for my personal preference, I think I would rather have it just a little bit lighter. Now, sometimes also, when you have a fall shut action like this, it might mean something's loose. Let's find out. So, fall shut action is to die for. Do we have any play? No play. Anywhere. <coughs> okay, so that's locked up really nice. Centering is dead nuts. So, the fall shut action on this guy done... Very well. Holy shit, that's fun. <laughs> that is really, really fun. And even with the light detent, with this hole in the way that it's shaped and the location, it flicks out really, really well. So I'm not really worried about the detent being a little bit lighter. I just have to mention it because it is a thing that, uh, for me where I want a stronger detent. I, even myself, personally, I'd rather have too strong of a detent um, than a lighter detent. God, look at this blade. I am really stoked. I really love this blade. Now, it doesn't have a very or a very long cutting edge, uh, but I don't really care, especially on an EDC knife. You know, I like the bigger knives. You guys know that um, just because of my personal preference. But for something like this, I can already tell that this may not fit me in this backed up grip the way I want to. But he puts an amazing finger troll in his knives. So let's do first impressions on the ergonomics. And so, yeah, so you can see my finger is coming back. Um off of the knife it's still an okay grip i just want four fingers and so that's why he did this and now boom melts in my hand and feels very locked in the jimping is way up here or goes way up here and is very very nice and grippy without being sharp so i feel this thing ain't going nowhere i feel very in control of this knife so i can't wait to get some cutting done with this blade nice flat grind it feels thin but when we do the full review we'll do specs and i'll measure it behind the edge but it definitely feels fucking sharp that is faux show finger troll is really nice guys you can see even with my fat fingers i am not up on that blade that makes me happy this is where i'm gonna land in this knife every time i'll go to cut with it it's right here even though this feels okay it's just not as secure with my hand size uh with my pinky hanging off so this is where i'm gonna live i also do like the fact because i can feel it right now that the uh, backspacer kind of raises up above so the backspacer on the nimble is you know smooth to the back this one's actually raised up and jimped and i can actually feel that biting into my hand in a good way to, to help with grip. Like this thing feels so secure. It's crazy. So I'm really, really stoked and excited to put this in pocket and check it out. And John, I really can't thank you enough for allowing me to do that, dude. Uh, he's been great to me. 
Uh, if you guys haven't seen my full review on the Nibble, you need to go check it out. I have a few videos on this. <coughs> uh, also one on the amazing customer service that John provided me on my Nibble. So definitely go check out those videos. Go check out Lefty EDC's videos on his Nimble and the Thick Boy. And then stay tuned for the full review for my or my full review of the uh, EMP EDC Thick Boy. I just love the way this fucking thing looks. I just, it's great. I think it's just very sexy. So anyways, guys, as always, stay safe in this crazy world that we are living in. And we will see you in the next one.